Hello nurses, this is Kevin with nursingcamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing and the NCLEX. Today's focus is on this sticky note, oops, aspirin and the cardiac focus. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Etsy and nursingcamp.com where you can download this sticky note and study sheet. Alright, let's talk about aspirin first. It's an antiplatelet. Okay, and it works on whenever there is damage in the vessels, platelet aggregations, and they start to form around. Well, aspirin, 81 milligrams, stops this from happening. And that's why with cardiovascular disease, when there is damage in the vessels, through hypertension, diabetes, um, they're going to start to get a lot of platelet aggregation which are risk for clots and plaques. Well, the problem with that is, is that um, they don't want that to happen, so they recommend giving 81 milligrams daily for that. So that makes this one chronic. It's given us for CAD, and it's also given for 81 milligrams times 4 for an MI, myocardial infarction. And that's uh, ONA MB. And this is the order of priority. So oxygen first, then nitro, then aspirin. And it's part of the algorithm. And this is morphine. And then these are beta blockers. And you give four of them. They chew. You chew them. They're baby aspirins. Okay. What's some things, some warnings about it? Is you hold generally, you look at the patient, if they have, they're on 81 milligrams daily, that's just for CAD. But sometimes you might see a patient that's on 324 milligrams daily. Okay, when you see this, this is acute. And the reason they're on 324 is generally because of the patient's at risk for falling. And they still need to be coagulated. So they may have a condition that um, needs them to be coagulated, like atrial fibrillation. And with atrial fibrillation, there is no P wave. It's irregular. And because it's irregular, the, the atria is just fibrillating. And they would normally be put on Coumadin or Eloquis. And the problem with that is if they're falling a lot, they don't want to put them on Coumadin or Eloquist because they'll bleed out. So the worst case scenario is they're like, okay, well, we'll just put you on 324 milligrams. Um, this is the best thing we can do because we don't want to put you on Coumadin and have you at risk for bleeding. So we just kind of do that. All right, some things that we monitor for is... Um, we hold for uh, gout, G, GI ulcers, platelets are that are low. Maybe right? there's a platelet aggregator. So in this CBC here, platelets are over here. So we'll monitor this um, fishbowl. Uh, we look for um, other, uh, excuse me, other. NSAIDs, anti-inflammatories, which may interact with it, mainly an allergy to NSAIDs. It's contraindicated for this patient. And tinnitus, which is an adverse reaction. Some other things to recognize with aspirin is its role in uh, myocardial infarction and being part of that algorithm. When we assess chest pain, we give nitro, then we give our aspirin in four baby aspirins. All right, so let's run through it. a wells. It's a method that I use to evaluate the medications and my knowledge of it and what I might be needing to focus on. Is it acute or chronic? Well, it can be chronic for 81 milligrams. Acute would be 324. Or it's given acute 81 milligrams times four for 
for um, the Q MI on the MB. Uh, how does it work? It's a platelet aggregator, it's an antiplatelet. So it prevents clots from forming. In patients who have an MI, we don't want that to be happening when there's already damage in the vessels. Um, when do we hold it? Well, for GI ulcers, because they're bleeding, you know, gout, because the acids, because it is a silic acid, aspirin. Uh, platelets, so we monitor the CBC. And then um, ACE inhibitors as well. What else do we assess? Any labs associated with it? L, like I said, the um, platelets, and maybe the uric acid levels if they have gout, because it is an acid, and um, it will amplify it. Next is uh, eating. Anything's unaffected with eating? No. And then uh, what stands out? Well, aspirin is a uh, it's a dual medication. It's done chronically, 81 milligrams daily for preventative patients for patients who have CAD. And um, also it's given 30, 324 for patients who have might have a need for clotting but can't tolerate Coumadin or Eliquis. It's also acute because it has to deal with, um, it's part of the ONA MB, where we give it in the, in the case of when an MI is suspected and of course follow agency policy well that's about it my name is nursing camp and that's aspirin um, I can be found on Instagram uh, Facebook Pinterest Etsy nursingcamp.com and my name is nursing camp that's it nurse on and we'll see you next time